Amazon is rolling out a number of new gadgets that take the world closer to the lifestyle of the Jetsons. Amazon introduced a voice command microwave, clocks, security devices, and car devices along with upgrades to Alexa and its Echo speaker system. In Start Me Up today, fair to say, Amazon tends to get bashed for putting some owners out of business, but now the world's largest retailer is working on supporting small and medium-sized companies with a huge new online store called Amazon Storefronts. Gene Marks, a business expert who you might recognize as a columnist for the Washington Post, joins us with the details. The Washington Post, of course, is owned by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, the big boss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Angie, no, no, Jeff Bezos is not my boss, but uh, it's a great a pleasure to be on the show. Thank you. Maybe not directly, but anyway, how does this work, Gene? You know, it, it's it's funny, you know, when that issue comes up about small businesses in particular, right? Uh, you know, because, you know, U.S.-based small businesses, they, they, they employ more than half of the employees in this country, Angie, right? I mean, they are, there's 30 million of them out there. They are a huge part of the national economy. Um, and, you know, the, the government realizes that, a lot of businesses realize that. That as well. Amazon um, just this week is launching something called Storefronts um, to really kind of, you know, emphasize the fact of how important small businesses are. So, you know, for people that want to support small businesses, um, this is going to be another option for them to, uh, to to show that support. If someone watching wants to get in on this, what's the best route? Yes. Yeah, so listen, uh, you know, Already on Amazon, you know, more than half of their items are sold by small businesses, you know, and, and so what Amazon has done is they said, listen, why don't we bring all this together into one place? So they've chosen 20,000 small businesses, U.S. small businesses, selling more than a million items, and they're putting it together onto their site. It's called Amazon.com forward slash storefronts. And that way, if, if you want to buy something from Amazon, and most of us do that anyway, here's a place where you can not only buy something, but also buy something from a U.S small business. So you're, you're, you're getting what you want to buy and you're also selling support for small businesses here in this country. And Amazon has brought that all together in one. Amazon.com forward slash storefronts is where you can go to buy your products from a U.S.-based small business. What do you think needs to happen so that e-commerce and brick and mortar stores are both successful? I think it has to be up to the mind of the merchant themselves. I mean, you know, what I think a lot of my clients are seeing right now is competition that's, that's coming from different channels as well. And the smartest merchants at Angie are realizing right now that if they're going to continue to grow and even stay profitable, they've got to be reaching out to other audiences. I mean, if you look at retail right now on typical streets, I mean, a lot of it is coffee shops and restaurants because a lot of retailers are realizing they can sell for a lot less overhead uh, and a lot lower cost just by doing it online. So even if you want to keep your regular brick and mortar store there, it just makes total business sense to look for other channels and the best channel you can find is going online to do that. Thank you, Gene, for coming on our show. Thanks, Angie. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.